there are various forms of rigging. Uh, some of the most common rigging are slings, uh, such as nylon slings or cable slings or chains that are used uh, to help lift uh, materials, uh, sometimes when they're using a crane or something else. That would be the, the straps that are put around something that we actually lift with. Another form of rigging uh, would be things that we do to try to pull things sideways where we may use something like a come along. Uh, those are all parts of rigging. So it involves all the chains, the slings, and the hooks. OSHA has various regulations and very specific regulations about uh, how, what type of slings can be used, how they have to be inspected before each use. Again, we must know the capacities of the material or the products that we're going to lift so that we make sure that we're using the proper slings that can fit into those capacities. People that do rigging must be properly trained on how to rig various types of material. They must understand the principles of certain types of rigging angles and how different slings and different types of hitches or assemblies that they may build may affect the capacity of the rig. Uh, it falls together a lot with the general lifting requirements when we're working from a crane or a forklift or anything where we may use the rigging to pick up material or to pull material sideways to assure that none of it will fail or break that could cause something to fall or for some of the rigging to fly out and strike somebody.